Hi everyone, I'm back with another video review. This is on um, the Mighty Morphin Metallic figures, uh, red, black, blue, and yellow. And I want to get these for a while, and it just didn't happen. So I got them recently when Hasbro was having that awesome sale. I'll get back into pricing and all of that later on in the video. So most of you guys are aware, like they released first the pink metallic figure Catherine, I believe end of 2020 or beginning of 2021. I don't remember, it's been a while. And um, they, they released these guys last year. Aisha, Billy, Adam, and Rocky. And the metallic Ranger powers, as most of you guys are aware, are something that they got, I think, halfway through season three as like a metallic armor. So it was pretty much their regular suits. Uh, that were metallic and it had like a literally a glitter effect to it so here's the red ranger this is what um, rocky looks like it's funny although he does look a little bit like rocky he looks more like blake foster the older blake foster who played uh, justin and they finally fixed red ranger's helmet because Originally, with Jason, they didn't color in the silver at the bottom that his helmet looked off. This is what the back looks like. He looks pretty cool. It's funny because the figures themselves actually look more glittery. Uh, like it has more glitter in it. I can't seem to say glitter for some reason. But the back of the box, they look more transparent than glittery or glitter. With the glitter effect, I guess. Yeah, that's not a word I want to keep saying. So here's um, Adam. Maybe I'm overthinking, but I feel like they did his helmet so much more better than the original Black Ranger. Because the original Black Ranger helmet looked way too oversized. And the Adam head, it looks like the same exact Adam head as Zeo, but I could be wrong. And this is um, what the back looks like. And this is what Billy looks like. I love Billy's head because they almost got him spot on. And I love the blue shade that they use. The glitter effect really makes it look nice. And something to also note, it looks like they came with their Zeo crystal pieces. Like here for Billy, this looks like the Zeo crystal piece. I have yet to look at it because I know the Zeo crystals, oh sorry, it's out of frame. The Zeo crystals, I believe on the top here, had the um, Zeo helmet shapes. I hope they have, the crystals have that, it would be pretty awesome. And finally, here's yellow. One thing to take note is her font is black, while all the other fonts are yellow. I guess so that it would be more legible versus uh, white on yellow. Something really cool about the metallic boxes is so that wherever you see color on them, it's all like glitter and it's really awesome. And I really regret I did not keep Pink's box, because I had so many lightning collection boxes building up that I ended up just throwing it out eventually. This is what yellow looks like, and Aisha looks very spot on, and I love her long braids. And this is what the back of yellow looks like. You can really tell on the back of the box that yellow looks very transparent. It almost looks like her power is glowing, and she's almost losing her power. Versus the actual yellow figure being really dark. So yeah, that's what it looks like. They pretty much recycled all the weapons and um, all the effect pieces from the original uh, Mighty Morphin figures that they released. So that's what the packaging looks like. And overall, I must say, they did a phenomenal job with the packaging and even the Ranger heads look pretty accurate. I love them so much. Here I have uh, all the Ranger figures out of the packaging along with their accessories and I must say I really love these ranger helmets compared to what we first got with the regular non-metallic rangers they did a 
phenomenal job and I love the boxes so much I decided to keep it in the backdrop I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the figures and the accessories and the articulation it's what yellow looks like she looks great there I love her um, helmet they all come with their standard um, blade butt buster she comes with her power daggers the paint on the weapons uh, do look a little bit transparent so it does look recolored and I was right um, the top of their crystal actually does have the Zero Rangers uh, visor shapes. I never actually caught this with um, the Pink Ranger when I did the review. I don't think I even really clued in that it had the oval shape. This is their effect piece, the same one that Trini came with. And this is our beautiful Aisha's head. She looks so accurate. I love when they um, make them so accurate. It makes even so worthwhile buying the figure. And she came with uh, two hands. This Cardi chop type hand, which you can also use to maybe get the figure to hold the helmet. She came with the gripping hand. Here's the Red Ranger. I love these metallic figures. You know what they remind me of? I don't know if... If... Um, PS3 had it or what... I think it was... I remember way back with N64. They used to have these translucent controllers. And they looked pretty cool. I don't know if PlayStation even had them. But that's what they kind of remind me of. The Red looks like. He looks really cool. What I like about them is that they're transparent enough to look metallic, but at the same time, it's not too transparent that you can actually see through the figure. Here's his power sword. Power sword is one of my favorites. I love how long the sword is. He also came with the blade blaster, and this is his effect to go around the um, blade of the sword and he came with two fist hands this one here and this one here and I'll show you Rocky's head looking at it close up it does look like Rocky a little bit more but again, I still see Blake Foster. Here's the Black Ranger figure. Oh, I forgot to show you guys his uh, Zeo crystal. It's really cool. It has the star of Zeo Red. I'm very curious to see if you can actually combine the crystals because combined you see all five shapes together. Here's Adam's head and I'm 100% that it's the Zeo head that they recycled. Not that it matters because he had the same hair in Zeo and Mighty Morphin. Here's the power axe. And here's the Zeo crystal. You see the square or rectangle shape of green. He came with the uh, two hands. This one here, it kind of looks like the Wild Forest hands with his fingers retracted. And he's about to scratch someone, that's what it looks like.
he came with the same um, effect piece as the original Black Ranger. And moving on, this is the Blue Ranger. I think blue and red are my favorites because the color really stands out with the metallic effect on them. Here's Billy's head. I accidentally dropped it there, I'm just gonna grab it. I think Billy's is my favorite because they got him spot on. I mean, Adam and Aisha are not bad either. They did a great job, but Billy without the glasses is great, especially because the first head with the glasses didn't look like a bloated Billy. Here's the power lens in its staff mode. And here's um, the two lances uh, separated. He also came with a crystal piece, but I'm having a hard time finding it. I'm just going to check the packaging to see if I um, did remove it, maybe. It should be here. I don't know what I did with this. Uh, with this. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have his uh, crystal piece, which is strange because I just removed them out of the box. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it what the accessories look like. The articulation is pretty much the same. Let me just show it to you guys. I'm pretty sure I'll come across the crystal piece eventually in this um, video, and I'll show it to you guys once I come across it. So articulation is pretty much the standard articulation for females. You can um, rotate 360 their hand side by side, up and down. They have elbow articulation. You can rotate uh, it so and you can rotate the glove. The heads you can rotate up, down. Chest has um, one here and one here as well up and down and like side to side up down 360 and the knee is double jointed as is with the other figures it's pretty like um stiff i guess because it's new and the boot you can kind of that's 360 and um you can do the same with the foot it's you can pretty much uh, do the pulses from the TV show, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to go through it with the guys because they have the same articulation. So, um, yeah, if there was anything different, I would have definitely shown it to you guys. Um, yeah, so that's the figures and its accessories. So here's all the figures with their um, helmets off. I do apologize for the weird um, display because I really couldn't get the help get them to stand with the helmets on. So yes, you can see blue just fell over. So um, it's a little bit awkward. Sorry, I can't get them to stand again. That's the thing with the lightning figures. Once they fall over, sometimes it's so hard to get them back on again. I'm just gonna put it by his feet, the helmet. So this is what they look like and Aisha, Adam and Billy, they look amazing. Rocky's head could still use some work because it kind of looks like Steve and kind of doesn't. It's yeah. So I'll show you guys a close up. Here's um, Aisha. I love her long hair. It looks amazing.
here's Rocky. Here's Adam. And finally, here's Billy. And I did actually find his crystal piece. Uh, it was actually under one of the boxes. So I'll show you guys what his crystal piece looks like. Oops. Yeah, Billy does not want to stand today, not sure why. And here you have the triangle. Oh. There you have it. So those are the ranger figures with their helmets off. And um, I'm just going to bring um, Captain Noah and I'll show you guys what they all look like. So this is what all five rangers look like. I brought Catherine over. And um, yeah, they look pretty cool together. And I also found Catherine's um, Zeo crystal piece. And yes, it has the oval on it. It's really cool. And the way these crystals are, I don't think they can actually combine and to make the full Zeo crystal. But it would be really cool if it could. One thing to also know is that the weapons do combine. This is what they look like. I actually could not remember what the order of the power blaster was. So I had to uh, Google a picture and I was building it while I was... Um... This is what it looks like. Here's um, the lightning figures with their helmets on again. And I have Red holding the Power Blaster. It's kind of hard to see and can get him on a normal pulse because the weight of the Power Blaster, he kind of wants to fall over. But, um, yeah, that's what all five of them look like. He looks awesome. And let me just show you Red holding the Power Blaster. It's really awesome. And uh, there is... Um, a white metallic figure that was found in the wild somewhere so eventually i do plan on getting that uh, but i'll get into that more when i talk about pricing so here i have all 10 mighty morphin figures the regular and the metallic and they look really good of course the regular stands out more because the color is more vibrant but yeah, so that's what they look like. I just want to put them side by side so you guys can see them. And, um, yeah, they look awesome. And with the Black Ranger, I love the metallic Black Ranger helmet so much more than the regular. And there you have it. And Pink Ranger's metallic helmet looks more narrow and squashed in versus the regular helmet. So that's what they look like. So I want to show you guys the variations of the same person. So as you are aware, we did get a two-pack for Aisha and Scorpina. Like the Aisha I had from season two, and the original Billy, and the Zeo Adam, and the um, metallic Adam face. And I was actually wrong. The skin tone and the expression on the faces for Adam are different. The Mighty Morphin one is, has a slightly bit darker skin tone. That's a slight bit different expression to show it to you guys. And the Mighty Morphin one, the face structure is, is a bit slimmer compared to Zeo. So yes, I'm, I'm actually happy they did a different face. I actually thought it was the same one. That's what they look like. And I forgot for Billy and Kimberly, they made smiling faces for them, which I don't like. I prefer the monotone expression because when they're in see serious battle, I don't see a reason why they would be smiling. And yeah, so that's what they look like.
So this is what the um, Money Morpher and Ranger team looks like when you take the heads off the metallics and put it on the regular figures. I have um, Catherine's regular head on because uh, honestly her metallic head looks nothing like her. With all the rest like Aisha, Billy, um, they might put their season 3 heads and they look amazing. I love it so much. I believe, um, actually yes, they have released the rest of the ninja figures. There is uh, black, pink, blue, and red that's out right now. And um, they've released, or they are going to release, uh, pink Catherine, yellow and red ninja figures later on. I don't think I'll be getting them because my only way to get them is through Canadian Toys R Us. And they're so much more expensive and it will cost a lot to get all of them that it's something I don't want to invest in but yes so these are what the figures look like and after this we'll take a look at um, a comparison look at the legacy metallics and um, the lightning metallic figures so here I have them side by side the legacy metallic figures and um, the lightning metallic figures Right away I can tell the lightning metallic figures are more um, show accurate. Sorry, this blue range of figure just looks so weird. So yeah, so right away you can, I can tell that the lightning figures look more show accurate versus the legacy figures because whenever they use their metallic armor, their, the shade of their colors did get quite dark and it was it's accurately re represented with the lightning figures here versus legacy figures there is more of a metallic transparent look going on there but it's really hard to see like in this camera right here they look like non-metallic mighty morphin figures but if you go close up and look at them they're like oh yeah there's a little tra so it's very discreet in these figures so definitely um by far the lightning figures win and i forgot how horrendously big these like uh legacy figures were and you can see how warped they look that's how i got them their le their legs were all like bent especially pink and i could not get them to stand properly they kept falling over i don't know what bandai was thinking with these huge figures and but i must say but i did a amazing job with their helmets they look amazing especially black and pink look amazing but um, yes I mean I can show you guys the side by side so here's metallic red and metallic legacy red and as you can tell the boots and um, the gloves don't have any, any metallic shades going on there's just solid white Versus for lightning, Hasbro cared to uh, give the metallic effect for the boots and the gloves too. So yeah, Banda was quite lazy with this one. So that's what the two reds look like. Honestly, the legacy figures to me look like an experiment gone wrong. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, as you can see, it's hard to get them to stand. That's what they look like. And honestly, Legacy Black doesn't even look like... Well, metallic Legacy Black doesn't even look like he has any metallic on him. But if you really look at him close up, you can tell there's a little bit of a shimmer to the gray or the black shade. Here's blue. And finally, yellow. For the legacy figures, um, the metallic questions, 
if I remember correctly, they only came with the five ranges. They didn't have a le uh, metallic legacy white or anything. That's what they look like. Honestly, the um, the legacy figures, with how warped my legacy figures are, what they remind me is of those really cheap adult uh, money morphin costumes you can get on eBay. That's like a one piece suit and the helmet is also like a fabric. That's what they remind me of because they're so disproportionate. But yes, that's what the two of them look like. Yellow. So with everything out of the way, all the comparisons I want to show you guys, uh, what's my initial uh, impression on them? I must say, I love these figures. They did an amazing job. They got the metallic effects spot on with these figures. Um, they actually look metallic. This is how the Rangers looked from what I could remember from the TV show. So they did a great job capturing that. And even the civilian heads, they did a great job. They look very, um, they resemble the Rangers from the TV show. Only one that's question questionable is Rocky. And um, technically, Cat is not part of this video because I got her earlier. But Cat's head also does not resemble what she looked like from the show. But with those minor nitpicks, they do look freaking amazing. And if you're all about grabbing everything from Money Morphin regarding the different powers they had in different suits, I would recommend um, getting these figures. Now for um, pricing. Unfortunately, because these are uh, Hasbro exclusive, you can only get from Hasbro Pulse. So that means if you live in Canada, there's no Canadian version, so you would have to get them from the US Hasbro Pulse website, which means it would cost an arm and a leg to get them. Initially, when I wanted to get them, when they first came out, it was, um, I don't know, I can't remember the price exactly, I don't know, it was 27 or $25 US plus shipping plus tax and when I calculated it it would have come to 200 Canadian dollars for four freaking figures which is like $50 a figure and I'm like yeah no I'm not paying that much for a re-release of a Ranger with just a different paint on them and then luckily um, there was a Hasbro event I can't remember when that was I think beginning of June they had where they took a percentage off if you spent a certain amount and I was able to make use of that deal and I was able to grab them for 130 Canadian I mean compared to the 200 that was still a good deal because I was technically almost paying retail and then they took a long time to ship these figures to me they took I mean they haven't even sent out the figures like it was becoming one and a half weeks and I was getting frustrated and as as an exception, um, Hasbro did refund me the shipping, just $30, so all in all, it cost me $100. I ended up paying less than retail in the end for these, and I'm so glad I paid it. So I got a great deal on these figures. And, um, yes, so Pinkai I had already gotten from earlier on, I can't remember when exactly, earlier 2021 or end of 2020. I paid so much for her and I wish I had waited but it is what it is and I did earlier men I did mention earlier that there is a metallic white that was found in the woods basically like I believe in Malaysia they found it and um, it was never officially announced there is a metallic white I do plan on getting him but not right away like it will be when, I, when another promotion comes being a Canadian sometimes sucks when it when your only option is to buy from the US so um yeah so these are my these are the metallic ranger figures and i do have all of wave 11 of the lightning collection i do plan on doing reviews of those please keep a look out for that and as always thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a great day please subscribe like comment would love to hear what you guys thought and i do apologize for the long ass video please keep in mind that this is four f figures in a review versus it's just one I want to show you guys all the possible comparisons that there is so that's why it is a bit long like this thank you and have a great day